Just a crawl space that's a little bit negative, we can be looking at this right here. That's what one inch of rain can do. Hey guys, so I want to show you something real fast. One, that's a giant mushroom, if you can believe that. I mean, that's just, just for reference. <laughs> that's wild, right? But yeah, I wanted to show you uh, something. So I was here on Saturday, and I noticed a good amount of this effervescence right here. As you can see the line where the bricks go from normal looking bricks uh, to not so normal looking bricks. And that's a sign of water, but it's not necessarily a sign of water flow. It's a sign of water evaporating away and leaving behind its salts. Um, it could also be water soaked in, evaporated away. It could be a lot of things. But since then, we have had one inch, count it, one inch of rain. But in a crawl space that's somewhat negative, not even much, because the negativity on this crawl space, meaning the level below the grade, is just that line of bricks. And yet, just a crawl space that's a little bit negative, we can be looking at this right here. That's what one inch of rain can do. I suspected that there was a good amount of water flow here based on the topography of the soil. You know, that's a better indication of water flow. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys what one inch of water can look like. And honestly, I've seen so much worse than this from one inch of water.